Hello everyone, John Beer JJ here. Welcome to my channel. And today it's kind of late. You can see that it's uh, getting late today, but uh, I just got this car in uh, all the way from Europe. And uh, as you might notice that I'm an RG fan, and the reason I'm getting this is uh, I've been waiting for that RG uh, Strix LC 3090 Ti for like a whole bunch of time and I was informed that you know because of the COVID situation back in China it was kind of delayed uh, but I can't wait to you know get a 3090 in my system so here I'm getting a 3090 Supreme X and uh, I would consider this car uh, the same level as the Strix one uh, and for its design and excellent cooling and for the 3090 series it even have a uh, uh, a copper um, heat pipe on the back plate so that it helps its cools. So uh, in terms of building qualities, um, the Supreme Max is definitely along the top line that we can have. So um, this is 3090 Ti and uh, as you, know, you guys probably have known that the performance of this with versus 3090 uh, is not that significant but uh, um, you know I, you, I still want to get a hand on this you know uh, giant beast that I can get. And today we also have a uh, 3090. It's also Supreme Max here uh, to compare with to see like you know the dimension differences uh, versus uh, you know the 3090 Ti. But before that, uh, let's first compare uh, the boxes. So here is the box for the 3090 Supreme Max, and here is the 3090 Ti. As you can see here, uh, the size it looks very uh, similar in terms of its width, but um, in terms of its height, it's also the same, but uh, in terms of its actual uh, width, this 3090 Ti is definitely thicker than the 3090. If you uh, compare it side by side, uh, roughly about like, you know, um, one fifth of the entire length. Uh, that's, I think it, that, that's because the, uh, the, the cooler of this car is significantly greater than the 3090. And, uh, Okay, so we have compared the sizes. Let me uh, get this guy open. So, <clears throat> first of all, we'll see the Supreme logo in here, uh, which is pretty cool. Let me get the camera a little bit front. See the Supreme logo here. And we have the uh, MSI, uh, I think it's sent you notice and things like that. Installation manuals. Yep, we got a, a, a card. We got a, uh, a user guide, which I doubt anyone will read this. And uh, got some um, little brochures. And uh, this is the uh, installation guide for the graphic card stand. As you might notice that the uh, Supreme Max does come with a stand uh, for the graphics card. And here's some um, another brochure, how to upgrade your PC with a new graphics card. Okay. So I'm going to take this out and the next thing we see here is actually the Supreme mouse pad. So this comes with all the Supreme lineup and it's actually a pretty high quality uh, mouse pad but I'm um, using giant mouse pads at my desk so this one is probably going to wrap it in there but uh, it's very high quality if you are uh, rooted for this. And then we can see that here's the uh, uh, the Supreme. Here's the Supreme a uh, stand. It is also a very high quality stand. Uh, and uh, but the uh, the one complaint I have about this stand is like it's um, it's actually the, the bottom bit of this stand is really huge. So sometimes they do have uh, that many space on your uh, case so that it will. Um, not able to fit in, but uh, in terms of build quality, this is pure metal and it is very, uh, uh, you know, I, I think it can support the car for no problem. And we also have here, is the 3-8 uh, pin to 60-pin uh, connector. You have to connect uh, six 3-8 pin connectors to this. And this is for the uh, 3090 Ti, uh, you know, unique to them. And uh, you can take a good look at this and it says please use a separate PCIe power cable from the PSU for each of the eight pin connectors so don't use those uh, ones that are you know connected together like you know if you have two eight pins from one PCI uh, from one uh, cable on your PSU don't do that uh, because it's going to draw 
uh, a lot of powers and may damage your uh, your card or even your PCB. So definitely <coughs> use separate PCI cables. And finally, we got the card here. Okay. And this card is huge. Look at the size of this thing. It's definitely very huge. Let me open it up. Okay, so now I have the card here. As you can see that uh, from the front, we can't see much of a difference versus the Supreme X uh, 3090. Uh, I'll put it here, I'll get the 3090 here as well. Basically, if you, want, if you compare these two cards together, you won't see uh, much of the uh, uh, lens differences. It's basically the same lens, and they looks very similar. They have three um, Torx fans and the uh, Generation 6, I think, and uh, they are similar in size. And uh, one thing we notice here is the uh, is for the uh, the back of the card. As you might see that um, I think when the Supreme Max was first released, uh, they don't have this blue through design. And then later on in the 3070s, they start to adapt this this in because they you know they feel like if you don't have this, uh, you are not able to blow the uh, the wind through that. So that's why they're adapting this with 3090 as well. But if you look at this earlier version of the 3090, it doesn't have this uh, cutout to the back plate that can let the uh, um, the hot air to go through. And uh, speaking of that, let's looking at the size here. So I'm going to put the 3090 uh, right here. I'm going to put the 3090 Ti right here. So um, actually, I was thinking that the 3090 is. Uh, I thought it was going to be like significantly uh, thicker than 3090, 3090, but the TI is actually um, only like maybe one or two centimeters uh, thicker compared to the 3090 TI, compared to the 3090. So, um, uh, but you can definitely see all these parts uh, have like increased um, you know, uh, heat pipes and vapor chambers so that uh, it has better cooling capacity. And also we don't have any GDDR6 modules on the back of the, uh, the car so that it would be better uh, in terms of cooling. And uh, also for the BIOS, we can see that there's still only uh, gaming and uh, still only gaming and silent version of the, uh, the BIOS, just like the 3090. So yeah, basically there's, um, no differences if you look at the car side by side uh this is the uh, 3090 ti this is the 3090 the look is exactly the same and uh it's just a little bit thicker and uh we and we have a uh, uh a cutout design on the back and uh also speaking of the uh, uh number of connectors connectivities here uh we can see that both of the card has one HDMI and three DP portal. Um, and this is the same with the 3090. So the, uh, yep. All right, that's it guys. Uh, this is a relatively short video. I'm going to actually put this in my system and then do some testing. And uh, definitely uh, it's, it, it looks really similar with the 3090, but uh, in performance wise, I think it's going to be a little bit better. I'm going to test the thermals and everything. And uh, I'm really excited to get into my system. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you guys, thank you for watching the video and if you like this video, click on the subscribe button down below and hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye.